People of the world, this is everybody knows of Los Fail Faces. You are now tuned in to Grime Time TV via Grammy Republic. Don't sleep. Grime Time. Yeah, yeah. Grime Time. Yeah. What's up? It's John and you are now watching. Tune in video? watching for that audio. Yeah, it's video, it's audio, audio, yeah. Fucking video and audio. Drive Time TV okay. with Pigeon John. What's going on? My name is Pigeon John, and you're watching Grime Time in your face. On Grimey Republic. Doing it. <laughs> People of the world, this is everybody knows. All right, welcome to Grime Time TV. We are live. My apologies. The broadcast wasn't recording, so I had to start over because this has to be documented. Uh, real quick, we have not only Indigo Kids in the house. Trent is kind of hiding out right What's here. Up? My camera only goes so far. So of course we got special guest Indigo Kids, what Symbolic, Masferatu slash Moss Orion slash Moss, Moss Moss, <laughs> MC Worthington, MC Almost Worthington, what up, baby? and then we also got my boys Common Sickness, That's all three of us yeah, in the yeah. place, yeah. it's just kind of a crazy Tuesday night, we're making some food right now, we're kicking back with some brews right now. Um, flows. Bruce, yeah. I gotta get it's kind of the perfect Sweet. evening, man. It, yeah, so, it's gonna be get fun. Time. It's gonna Hope be fun. Guys, I'm glad you guys are here. Like Standard grind time. Thanks TV for having high us. Fives. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Pleasure. Big ups to Ben B. Yeah, glad you guys are here for sure. This is gonna be tight. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be cool. So yeah, big ups to Ben B. And to the rest of our guests. Create a unique username, and you can interact with us in the chat box. You can ask questions of Indigo Kids, of myself. Um, and we'll answer if, them, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you're on a cell phone, you might not be able to log in. We understand. Um, if you don't log in, or you just make up a crazy, weird, fun, like, you don't have to use your real name, obviously. So, okay, anyways, you know. log in and interact with us is what I'm saying. So, um... Yeah, we got cool stuff lined up for you. I got a couple uh, personal picks to play. They're not my songs, just some personal picks uh, of some people that are actually coming to Tucson soon. We got some stuff from Detroit that I might play. Mm. And then, of course, we have Indigo Kids music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New shit, so, yeah dude. Yeah. Making some debuts this year. Yeah. Oh, three new yeah. songs. Three new I, songs. Exactly. I didn't even bring that part up yet. Uh, they sent me a bunch of new stuff to play, like brand new, exclusive, yeah, debuts. So yeah, yeah. Fresh out of the oven, just finished one of them today. New Indigo Kids track and two new Masferatu tracks and oh, yeah. some yeah. other older tracks, but it's going to be dope. Yeah, yeah. That's what's yeah. up. <laughs> So it looks like we got a couple other people tuned in and, and logged in. We got, of course, like I said, Bendy. Big ups to Bendy. Hob Sputnik all the way from Winnipeg, Canada. Big ups to the homie. Check out the interview that we did. Um, I, it's a good one for sure. He, I asked him uh, some cool questions, some interesting questions, and he, he gave some in-depth answers. So it's an interesting read. Sometimes people's answers to interviews are very like bland and right. like like because i try to not ask generic questions to make their answers more interesting but sometimes people just like yeah it's cool like, <laughs> next question yeah, cool. like what all right <laughs> and of course <laughs> thank you to Sh uh sheila punks all the way from the philippines Hell yeah. i think it's like in the house who knows it's probably like noon tomorrow there <laughs> right now for real that yeah because the philippines are like near japan it's like south China they're, they're over there yeah they're over way there. pacific nice to yeah. be east. it's snowing <laughs> like eastern hemisphere crazy <laughs> in winnipeg according to Hobbs sputnik so check out his album satellite strange paramedic recordings big ups to the whole family they treat grimy republic good they send us free goodies so uh, what do you guys want to talk? Let's first introduce yourselves. Let the people know who you are. Yo, what's up? My name is Symbolic. Uh, I'm an Indigo Kids, obviously, and we're makes making dope beats. Make some beats. Make some flows. That's for sure. Got That's dope for sure. flows. Yeah, yeah. 
motherfuckers literate in the rhyming, and rhyming and scheming and the beats and shit. My name is Moss Faratu, MC Worthington, Moss and Ryan. Uh, you know, I make Voice some Box Beast. Voice Box Battles. I'm a battle rapper. I am a rapper. I like to write rhymes and freestyle off the top of the mind. And uh, shout out do to everyone out there. Yeah, do it all the time. <laughs> I rap 24 7. It's true. But, uh, you know, we living in some crazy times right now. So I just try to come up with some crazy rhymes for, you know, your crazy minds. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's talk about. Let's talk about how you guys got started. Like, how did you guys meet? Or, um, you know, it's on Craigslist and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that happens. You know, it does. You know, I, I mean, not the way friend. that you were implying. Yeah, but <laughs> check out the musician but section yeah, I've on Craigslist. Some of my best friends on Craigslist. You know. <laughs> Like, Shout out to Josh, man. Yeah, and, and your mama. <laughs> but, uh, and Josh's mama. And oh. Josh's mom, too. And his grandma. <laughs> She's kind of... Never mind. But, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, basically, we've known each other since high school. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think the first time we yeah. ever met was at a show, uh, our friend Nick's show. It was for the um, the cause, they were called, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was like at, freshman year. Yeah, it was at school. Scrappy's, and like that was the first time we ever met. And then we didn't really start making music together until, like, after <laughs> high school. Like, uh, you had Cool Shades going, yeah. and uh, Sean McAvoy, the original bassist, left, and I took over on bass for him. And yeah. just, that's when we started making music. Nice. So origi originally, we started being in a band together, and then we both had, like, a mutual love for hip-hop, so we just kind of, like, ended up going more in that tra yeah. tra trajectory and, like, sure. making a hip-hop more than... We had a lot of similar ideas yeah. about, like, what made like, hip-hop dope and, like, just, like, what made... How to flow and like we had a similar taste yeah. and what was you know just all the dope oh, shit. Yeah. Like. yeah, we've had mutual respect, you know, as yeah. for each other did, as MCs. Yeah. Did Cool Shades play um, one of the reggae fests at at Twelve Tribes a handful of years back? Um, not maybe. Sure. Uh, all right. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Never we definitely mind. played Twelve Tribes before. I don't know, if but it's not like the, like the actual like yeah, it's just... the annual fest. Yeah. yeah. Because that was the only so. time I was there was for a couple of... Okay, anyways, mm -hmm. moving on. I had a little... I had to have a tangent real quick. Reggae is dope, though. Um, and then yeah. the way that we met, actually, is... Well, always, I always give props to Riley Chandler. Because he Riley. set up, like, a bunch of dope MCs and, like, cats that knew how to network and, like, do our thing. Like, he just made a lot of us connect. And so there was a hip hop show that went down at Dry River and like, what was that? Like a week or two prior that we met at that studio right near the yeah. Safeway on Broadway and Campbell. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> For sure. These wow. So my tattoo art, one of my tattoo, my main tattoo artist, her little brother makes dope ass beats, makes music. And his friend was making music. They had a studio together. She linked us up and... He hit me up and was like, yo, dude, come through today. Like, let's just kick back at the studio. We'll just chop it up, whatever. Make some beats. Do You know, lay down some freestyles, whatever. So, and then in the meantime, these guys got the same message. And we had never met. And we're already doing the show together. Still didn't know each other. They came in. Yo, I'm Moss. Yo, I'm Trent. I'm like, Moss? Like, as in Moss Feratu? Because I never met anyone named Moss before. So, it kind of just had to... You know what I mean? It was kind of an obvious guess. Right. And then, like, <laughs> we just, we, uh, we laid, I, we did a freestyle little thing in the booth, and then, yeah. and oh, then yeah. we did, and then we started doing a bunch of shows <laughs> yeah. together, oh, like, awesome. what is it, we're in 2012, so that was 2010. Yeah, that was two years yeah. ago, right? Damn. Yeah, 2010 was a, 2010 and 2011 were crazy years. In yeah, they were. <laughs> and, but that's when, like, I don't know, I that's can only speak so Tucson, far. Tucson, like, hip-hop scene yeah, came together really at least for me i know yeah. there's been a scene here for a long time but, right yeah but at least for yeah, me that's when we started doing it you know like, right same here month. same here dope in head Driver. first for sure met a lot of cool people definitely yeah. definitely we've seen a lot of cool stuff i'm actually like do you guys have any footage from dry river another tangent um, real quick because i want to put i seriously want to put together a documentary i don't have any like personal like i don't personally have any Stuff, but I know there's stuff on YouTube. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I found YouTube. pretty much all of it. Okay. So and I have a lot of it. Too, right? I have a lot of it too. So, right on. So yeah, that's a little background on how we met. Um, and then your first album, 
Are You Down? That's what it, that was the name of the album, or is that the logo? That, that, yeah, that's the shirt. We uh, our first album was called Journey Rap. Journey Rap. Yeah, all yeah. right. Uh, tell tell the people the Republic a little bit about that. Journey Rap is a 13 track album that we made in Moss's garage, just like jamming, staying up until three o'clock in the morning, just coming up with beats and shit, and uh, just writing flows on our own and stuff. And it's pretty much about where we were in our lives at that point, like. It's in, it's about like you know the journey of life and just being overwhelmed not not overwhelmed but like you know kind of just in awe at everything like everything yeah you know, it goes like, through with like all these different yeah there's a whole bunch of different emotions. themes it's like, like a journey in itself you know it starts off with just like this intro longing and it just kind of like sets a tone where like yo we're about to embark on this journey and then it like yeah. goes all the way to the end and the last song is called Miss Me which is kind of like about dying and shit. Yeah. It's a classic show closer too. But, For sure, yeah. man. Yeah, I Shout love closer shows. Shout out to Alpha Six. You yeah. suck. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a classic show closer. Yeah, it is for sure. Uh, did you guys send me anything from uh, from that album? Big ups to Han Solo. Also, just showed yeah, up. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with the uh, what with up, the chat box too. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Yeah. Solo's dope. So mm -hmm. big ups to Ben B, Han Solo, Hop Sputnik, and Sheila Punks. Yes, yes. Um, did you guys send me anything from uh, Journey Rap? Yeah. We sent, what did we send? No, we didn't. We didn't send anything from Journey Rap? I don't think oh, so. Oh, man. Dang. All right, well, moving on. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you want to, let's play him a track real quick. Yeah, do you want to, you want to play a new one or do you want to play an old one? Nah, we, they got to wait. They okay, got to wait. wait. Right. can't give them right. shit yet. You got to wait. Um, <laughs> what it is? Yeah, we can play what it is. What it is is kind of like. Saying the world is what it is, but it's also like ironic and saying that yo, it is what it is, and like, but we can change it. Yeah, at the you same can. Time, you it's know? also yeah. about like you can make it what it is too. Yeah. Like everything is kind of like you know, that you come into this world and everything is is what it is, but you have it in yourself to like enforce your will upon that too. Like, you have to make your own destiny. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? Yeah. Is that interpret the song much. in your own way too? Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't and interpret it. That. It is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, Big ups to the Ustream bot. Thanks for showing up. Yeah. And Danny B on the beat. On yeah. This one. So All right. Danny B so representing. Danny B so represent. Indigo Kids, uh, what it is, produced by Danny B. Yeah. Danny Beats. Danny yeah. Beats. Yeah. Danny, Danny Beats. Beats. Okay. Check this out. We'll be right back. Yeah. Uh. I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm here to tell you what it is I made of organic matter, you're not about chaos and confusion The result of human fusion, although my birth was not my choosing Now I'm cruising for a bruising or maybe even a brain contusion The concept of reality itself is merely an illusion Nothing is proven, and all our theories are endearing But now I'm stepping up the clearing into the forest that we be fearing I'm on nothing but a compass, and my wits to be my guide When I'm laying on my deathbed, it won't be said that I never tried And then I'll die my final friend, they're at my side, my bride She was the reason for my pride when I was alive She cried, how could you leave me when I need thee? In spite of all of the weeping, she'll see my soul just needs to be free And I'm keeping every single lesson from her teachings Like a fact that loves forever, and it's only life that's fleeting I'm breathing oxygen, I'm lost again inside my skin But I left a trail of crumbs on the path to find the end Beat down and bloody and yet the sky is still sunny Claiming victory over dummies cause I'm clever like Bugs Bunny I'm hungry for the insight that once enabled us to live So I'll trek across existence to try and teach you what it is Tell you what it is, I can't tell you how to live I can only try to give an explanation for the shit And if it doesn't fit then I guess I'm a hypocrite The only reason that I spit so I can make some sense of it It is what it is It is what it is It is what it is What it is, what it is, it is 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 what it is, yo, it is what it is, it is what it is, it is what it is, it is what it is. A culture is gluttonous, y'all don't know what hunger is. A hundred kids in your vicinity must fight for sustenance. Forget the succulents of fruit, only nutrition and supplements. What bloods and crispy carrying guns and clips. What the problems we face don't get deep in media coverage. That's why I'm busting this, so take a puff of this. Cut us flip cocktails by walls so we can get our drugs and slip our powder. Up the nose until our faces are colorless. Stop for being 
and blinking with my utterance But y'all don't pick up on subtle hints What's so easily seduced by the blood to win such a bitch What if it was your little girl making money sucking dicks Coming home with busted lips It's a drum to up and touching it How has it come to this? So what the fuck the government Fucking stuck in this system of rewards and punishment Don't get sick, recover this Replace it with drunkenness We turn our back, say it is what it is We don't miss, we just it is, it is what it is It is what it is it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. We don't live, we just exist. Tell you what it is. I can't tell you how to live. I can only try to give an explanation for the shit. And if it doesn't fit, then I guess I'm a hypocrite. The only reason that I spit so I can make some sense of it. It is what it is. All right, we're back. I know I missed the drop. My bad. Um, I'm catch a drop, bottom son. Clip him, son. The... You know what I'm saying, son? White boys in the house, son. Yeah. Don't fuck with us. Bo- so this bo- is how bo- we doing. Yeah. Yo, we getting crazy with the music flowing like fluid. We buy a stop with the freestyle. Shout outs to La Raza. Lucho por la casa. I'm the bossa, masa. Uh. Even though I'm just a caca, Caucasian. You know, I shout it out for the nation. Bringing an instigation of enlightenment. When I grab the market, spit tea like in it Fucking up the mind again With the Vicodin and the Heineken Time and time again Yo, I'm stringing them up with my violin On my mandolin Yo, I'm panhandling when I'm traveling Rambling in the band of men We ground me out Yo, the clientele Yo, my soul rhymes Shine like a rhyme's bell That's what I'm doing in my rhymes I felt with my felt tip Yo, take a lot of psychedelics Yo, gonna get with the head trip And I'm paving the path of the red bricks And the yellow bricks Grinding down pencil tips Rhyme with the relevance Buying settlements With the pyramids Now you're hearing this Yo, you're fearing this I'm in the lyricist And I'm serious Killing cats cause they're curious And I'm gonna leave a dog delirious Most digress You know what I say I gotta be down for the cause Every single day you wanna battle the boss You already lost Your salad I will toss Shout outs to Al Basics and Kilma You know he is the foul He's gonna kill ya Yo I don't spit no filler Yo I built ya I knock you down though Like I was Godzilla We on the live and direct You scream producer Hit ya on your computer Shoot ya with my Luga Pursue ya like a cougar, I'm rabbit foaming at the mouth. You know what I'm about, sitting on my couch, smoking an ounce in my mom's house. But I got a job now, the bison witches. Couple weeks ago, we opened up for hieroglyphics. Woo! Shout out to everyone surviving in this violent business. Clockwork got work, yo, no one goes to his concert. And shout out to the voice box, Chuck Clark and the Greg Sachs. Yo, you're gonna be dead fast from the tag blast. Your brains get dashed. I'm beyond, but you just be bed bashed. Shout out to the vibe Leviathan rhyming all the time again uh, And he went back to the Denmark to make his pen mark Yo, because he is too smart for the two stone Erbogom, nah, just kidding Opening up for the gift of gab We be the diplomats Had to represent at the Hotel Congress That's where my sister works And I'm not in the over office Like, you know, Barakas Yeah Woo! Yeah, yeah. You're opening for Gift of Gab! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. honestly, I really didn't think this was going to happen. So I was just like, fuck it, yeah, I'll do it. And now I kind of like, I'm like, whoa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude like, I kind of want to go first, first. Like, if I'm before, before after you, before you're first. taking my slot. I'm going first, first when no one's there. <laughs> dude, because when was the last time you guys see, when's the last time y'all saw me perform, you know what I'm saying? Like, when the, what, let's be realistic. Like, you and Pressure perform more than me, that would just make more sense. Anyways, but you're like really so. Grammy's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. real MC. We're so like all oh, abstract and artsy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put together a new set and I'm gonna do it. I'm, it's gonna Fuck be yeah. I Stoke am for that super big ups to Puker T for putting that together Fuck yeah. Yeah. and Puker and for thinking of me to put me on the bill. Like thank you and of course dope to put Moss and pressure on. Like pressure right now is like. Just the shit. Yeah, he man, really, basically. he's mad underrated, dude. He he's is. super dope. He, like. he knows what's up, man. He's intelligent, you know. Like yeah, that's so, why I don't know. Style. He's probably underappreciated because y'all don't appreciate that intelligence. Yeah, yeah, Start appreciating. <laughs> Oh, that's not the right one. Don't I mean try to, to talk down a little. That's <laughs> <laughs> all apologetic. I'm sorry, y'all. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I stand by my word. Big that's ups right. to yeah. Big ups to to Puker T for putting that together. Of course, Moss. 
is gonna rock the set. Oh, yeah. Be there. Pressure. Um, and then myself and I don't know who's DJing yet, but we'll find out. Uh, I got Turtle it. Cuts Mondo to DJ, so maybe he'll oh, be okay, there. Oh, okay, word, word. And uh, maybe Lingos if he's down. We'll I just don't know. Like I don't. That's the thing about this show right now that I'm kind of. I just don't know yeah. exactly what's going on, so I'm kind of just like, what are we doing? <laughs> so what's going to happen? Yeah, it's gonna. So That's just the fun part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> come man. out and we'll. I mean, we'll gift f- the gab, man. We'll figure it Should out. It? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. for real. This is a good chance for uh, you know Tucson <laughs> hip hop to be <laughs> seen a little bit or something. Uh, 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 like uh, check uh, this uh, out. Uh, like we're not kidding around. Going? Like gift the gab, I one you know like. From Black Delicious at Club Congress. Now, here's the thing. This is the same night as uh, the Drake show. <laughs> oh, man. So we'll see. So who... Greg Sachs not going to be at Gift Again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who's who, you know what I'm saying, and what's what. But... To be honest, the gift of Gab is much more reasonably priced at about one tenth of what Drake is. Of what Drake is, the gift what, of what is, I, Honestly, I think if if I had to guess, the last I heard, Drake tickets were a hundred dollars for oh like some por- for like an unreasonable seat. Yeah, for like you know shitty seats. So, uh, so oh, hold damn. up, let me take this that's little crazy. thing. Yeah, that's cool, thing Drake. Off your face there, man. Uh, I had a little. It's not <laughs> good, dude. I'll represent that shit. I had a big old <laughs> grimy I'll be a billboard for you grimy Republic. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's it's mutual benefit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Like, that's Straight what I'm from saying. Canada, Hob Sputnik says Drake can suck a fat hand. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Hob Sputnik knows what's up. Yeah, I mean, I know what's up about you know what's up. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know what's up, but he knows what's up. Yeah, you know, we what know what's, what's up, up, but he knows so what's, what's up, and you know what's up. We all know what's up. I gotta give qu- another. Well, let's go down the line again, real quick, because we got more people tuned in. Hell Once yeah. again, big ups to Ben B. Han Solo from Third Floor Productions. Whoop, whoop. That is hey, like, hey, that's hey, our hey. extended family. Check out the Beatsmith Battlegrounds. Check out Third Thanks, Floor. Um, Third Hot Floor Sputnik Productions. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. He represents Paramount and Recordings. That, they also treat Grummy Republic like family. Oh, yeah. And then we got a new... Uh, Magra. Magra. Uh, Magra. Yeah, LSC. Yeah. And then... Uh, Oh, you know that person? Yeah. Who is that? He's a beat maker extraordinaire. Oh, well. cool. And, uh, Dope ass. Peace and he's a dude. Nice, nice, yeah. That's what's up. Peace. <laughs> what's up, we'll dude? We'll have to have you come out sometime. And big ups to Parasitic Ruffian. And, of course, uh, Sheila Punks all the way from f- the Philippines. That's awesome. Thank nice. you so What up, Sheila? And to our guests that don't have unique usernames, make one. Interact with us in the chat box. Ask questions. Talk to other people. And some of you, if you're tuned in via, like, cell phone, you might not be able to do that. But that's that. Yeah. So, um, now what? What's, do you want to talk about? You're performing at the Voice Box Battles, which is coming yeah, up. Yeah, I'm going Sunday. to Reno with hey. Voice Box. Reno, Nevada. We're going to oh, bat. Oh, my gonna... bad. We're talking about something else. Oh, oh well, that's the day after that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, so, tell them what's up. You're going to so, Reno. Who are you battling? I'm battling this full beat down from Nevada. We're all battling Nevada MC, so it's Arizona versus Nevada. Nevada so you know, a little, Watch civ- out, little civil war yeah. of uh, American rappers. You know, yeah. American civil rap war, and it's In gonna, the West. it's called Border Wars. You know, it's kind of relevant to like what's going on, but it's gonna be not True. relevant probably True. to anything except except dissing, except dissing people in a <laughs> elaborate and thought out. Pre- methodical yeah you know premeditated uh, like. any plans for symbolic to battle oh man i don't know anything? yeah i uh the thing about me and battling is like i don't know i write this kind of like fine line about him just like you know because i'm about i picture you would do it freestyle only but i i always think that about moss too yeah. well you that never mind that's what you but do trans- like, you ever you've written like once yeah i mean Twice. usually it's a combination you know yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. i'll leave it open to freestyle but right. i'll have like some premeditated shit right you know, right to it in there every now and then like sometimes like i don't know you can trump the written if you're freestyle like cuz you got to like rebuttal shit you know that's right, that's one yeah, of the like shortcomings of a written battle if you don't have like rebuttals to right. like what the other person is saying then you could like Miss out on a big opportunity right there yeah. to like hit a weak spot. Yeah, most up. 
like that on the fly shit like that yeah. wins battles exactly they, a yeah. prime yeah. example is bandit versus teddy b because teddy b's girlfriend was recording remember mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. and then bandit said something about and your yeah. girlfriend got yeah, caught yeah. recorded like i don't even remember the yeah. exact line but that, that battle dope. was pretty much that's what it's about neck to me and you know neck. like me yeah. Uh, Sean Harris w- had the same opinion. Like a couple of us were just like, "Damn, that battle was neck and neck." And then, but when he did that on the fly, like relevant flip, like well, it wasn't even a flip or a rebuttal. It was just like a point you know, that on shit. the moment yeah. type thing. Like, <laughs> the place went nuts, and yeah, even okay. us judges were like, "That was dope." Yeah, and that shit won the battle. Like it's all about yeah, like what gets the crowd going, man. Like so, that's what it should be about. Yeah, being MCs, you well, know, I getting mean, the crowd and jumping up. Yep. Yeah, well, it's definitely, a ceremony, definitely. you know. Still, even though it's like a battle, it's still like a ceremony. It's like a sport, you know. Like people come around to watch like a football game. Yeah, people just like that. beating the shit out of each other oh, with the ball you. involved, and then like I don't know, rap battles like kind of beating the shit out of people lyrically. Right? <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Don't don't agree to a battle if you don't want to be degraded. Like, right. I, I I have no idea what to expect. You know what I mean? Like, Noxie, exactly. I have no idea what to expect. Bandit, I have no idea what to expect. Like, because yeah. a lot of, like, some people in the hip hop scene here don't really know me. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, you've been battling for, you know, since yeah. Voice Box started. People so keep people calling can... me a hippie and, like, a bum <laughs> and, like, well, I need to this take guy, a shower. Come on. And, like, I'm, I'm saying if you battle me, just come with some, like, more original shit. More original shit. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Now I'm gonna get fucked. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm just, I'm stoked to battle out basics. I'm sure he'll come with something different. You know, like that'll be. That'll I hope. Be done. Yeah. I'm interested to see what yeah what his battle style is. Yeah, like, I mean, I feel bad. Like it's his first time and shit. Like, he's, I, then I realized that you can't care about people's feelings too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah when, I, when it's that kind of yeah. scenario. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. So you're playing the let's look at the at the going ball tour uh, flyer real quick. You're playing. Yeah. We got uh, the natives are restless, and then uh, I guess everybody knows is performing and battling according to the flyer. I did not know that. K the I. If you aren't familiar with K the I, Ben B, you have to come see this guy. Um, we got James Barry. I got a little bit. I'll play a track by him, and everybody knows here in a second. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we got. From the bottom up, Noxie versus Aperture versus Shady. That's a three-way female triple threat battle. Damn. Uh, oh, and I'll give my predictions again, even though I've already yeah. I did this on YouTube. But for this triple threat, I'm giving it to Shady. That's Greens' wife. I think that she has the most potential and She's the, the biggest. Most ruthless. Even though she doesn't have the most experience in battling, I would say Noxie has the most experience. She's 0-2. She has two losses, so that doesn't really help. And she's Aperture. Still at where she's still doing it so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. What yeah that's what's that's up what's yeah up. aperture's never battled and shady's never battled but i think shady is gonna come the hardest so what I'm up aperture that... i'm gonna battle you <laughs> <laughs> i'm giving that one to shady uh next up jay rich versus teddy b jay rich very much impressed with what he did against el monster that was a great battle teddy b i've seen him a handful of times i'm not impressed yet he's come with some bars like he's had some lines <laughs> But he uh, lost the E-Rail, he lost the Bandit, like, I don't know, he's, he's not doing it for me. <laughs> Those are two great MCs that he battled. Yeah, <laughs> um, no, yeah, no doubt, but, I, uh, and then I who did he battle in Phoenix? I was too drunk. I don't, I don't remember a lot of battles, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis Jr. versus AG. I honestly think that this is a little bit unevenly stacked, to oh, be quite yeah. honest. Lewis Jr. Oh, Lewis Jr. is not to be underestimated. No. Lewis Jr. is dope. Dude. He's been getting steadily this much like, better each time, too. Yes, like, exactly, you know, exactly. Like exponentially. AG's dope, don't get me wrong. He's one of the best from New Blood. I think me and AG and, um, and Citrus, without a doubt, who else from New Blood? I think those are the top three. Yeah, if but AG keeps, if AG sticks with it, man, he's got a leg up on anyone. Like in he's the just gonna years, come you know? in it. Like once he gets, he's like, young, so. fi- yeah, like he has the bars. It's the <laughs> delivery and the confidence yeah. and like just like some swag, like s- literally like some stage swag presence. You know, like, yeah, stage presence exactly. Yeah, so, just, but I'm giving this one to Lewis Jr. just based on experience. Um, it's gonna be a great battle. I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Ki versus Citrus. Uh, oh man, this is gonna be a good battle too because I think that Ki is gonna come with a lot of freestyle material, 
and Citrus will come with some Rittens. Yeah. And I think that Citrus kind of has an upper hand in that aspect because, once again, when you come to, like, written battles, well, you're, like, kind of a... a, a an anomaly. A, a, <laughs> an exception to the rule because you come to a lot of written battles with a lot of freestyles and win a lot of battles. But I think that this one is going to Citrus. Um, but I think it's, it's definitely going to be dope because KI has great wordplay. Um, but Citrus is very, he's just smart and he's a good MC. I'm not saying Ki, Ki is not smart. I'm just saying he know, Ki, Citrus knows he how to. He went to a fucking like Buddhist monastery. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, he, he, knows, he like centered his mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's it, like, like not smart, just like, like, oh, he's book smart. Like he has, he has like this wisdom about him. That, yeah, yeah sure. man. So, Citrus is tight as hell. He meditates. What's up, shit. Citrus? Yeah. So then moving on, speaking of wisdom. We got Diverse versus Wisdom. I'm definitely looking forward to this one, too, because, like I said before, like, when Diverse battles, that dude just, he just raps. Like, he comes into a, 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 a rap battle and oh, raps, yeah. like, and, and Wisdom, <laughs> like, it, well, what I mean like, by that is, like... No, he just goes. He, he comes, like, like, he's he, like, he opens his mouth, and he's just, like, spraying, like, automatic machine guns. Yeah, on yeah, you. whereas, yeah. like, some people have, like, like, a lot of, like... It's all about, like, the animation and, yeah. like, the way, you know, the stage presence and all that <laughs> stuff. But, like, Diverse comes and spits in your face and, like, just yeah. goes for it. Yeah. Wisdom, like I said before, uh, his early performances, to me, were kind of iffy. But recently, he's really been stepping up his game. So, I think that's going to be a good battle. Um, Mr. Day versus Greens. This one, the winner... Is anyone that comes out to see it, and then anyone who gets to see it on YouTube, like Dave or Greens, can't win this battle. It's the people that get to watch it because it's a compliment <laughs> battle between brothers, and it's just gonna be so fucking funny. Yeah, man. Like uh, they have like imagine? kind of similar styles but different, you know? Yeah, yeah, and just. I don't like, know. It's just gonna be on a crazy. team together. They were hilarious, and now like against each other, I can't more hilarious. Exactly. Mr. Exactly. Day battles are always hilarious, man. Like, exactly. I, the guy that comes with the best punchlines, man. Yeah. He's, exactly. he's he's got my favorite punchlines out of all the MCs. Like he's just hilarious. Yeah. Dave's a celebrity. Like he is, he, man. People know Mr. Day. He gets more likes, Straight way more up. likes than I do on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you gauge that shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah man. If you want to know likes. who's a celebrity, look at likes on Facebook. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, he gets like 40 likes on a status or something. Damn, I need to give up on rap. So then, that's true. Next up, Bandit versus Grimey yo. I gotta give this one to the underdog. I'm giving it to myself. Um, Bandit's got way more experience than me in battles. But sometimes, like, I don't know. He spits a lot of generic shit sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I think that he's gonna. Fr I, I personally think that he probably didn't like do too much research on me, and I think he's gonna freestyle a lot, which he's good at. Don't get me wrong. Like half of his battle versus Teddy B was freestyle. Dude, you're gonna you know kick his fucking ass, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I'm I, honestly blah, blah. like, I like some of Bandit's battles. I think like he can come up with some funny shit sometimes, or like be funny on the fly. Like, but I don't know. We'll see. Danger James versus Antronormous, like I've said before, this is going to be the most aesthetically pleasing battle of the night. It's David versus Goliath. Danger James is a small stature. Hmm. Antronormous is a large fellow. <laughs> um, He's just tall, you know. He's but like Danger James can can spit that big. Like, you oh, know yeah. what I mean? Because he has that Napoleon yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, 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 that's the homie. Like, I'm not saying that as a diss. Like, I love Danger James. Yeah, man. And he's he knows it. He, and he can embrace it. You know what I'm saying? So I yep. think that, that that's going to be one to watch for sure. I'm giving that one to Danger James. Uh, Young One versus Toxic has been postponed. Big ups to Young One doing his thing in L.A. He's yeah, out yeah. at Chalice Recordings doing an internship. So he can't leave LA right now because he's completely tied up. Wah, 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 but wah, 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 um, they already spoke it over. It's all good. Uh, Toxic's cool with it. So, uh, but that one's gonna be one to watch whenever it happens yeah. because they've known each other like you guys like since high school. So they got a lot of dirt, a lot of right. you know they're gonna do yeah. that one's yep. gonna be some ex yep. you know some personals. <laughs> I'm excited nice. for that one. Personals are always fun. Yep. <laughs> and then. Uh, the 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 headline battle of the night is everybody knows versus Erao. 
Eral is a, a fierce competitor. He is a warrior. Mm -hmm. When he goes into battle and he'll have jokes, but he comes with bars. Like that boy comes to fuck with your mind and, and to out rap you. Like to out to outwit you. Um, everybody knows is I think he's a bit underestimated in his battles. A lot of the footage of him that's available isn't always the best, but his his battle versus Uno Lavos, that most recent one, is super dope. Um, I'm giving this one to EK with an asterisk because if EK is on tour and like having too much fun and, and he didn't prep for this battle, e is going to smash him. But if he comes like ready to battle, plus his rebuttals and his freestyle abilities, I think that he has the ability to to beat Iral on experience. But like I said, mm, it's kind of a toss up. So definitely looking forward to that. We got a hosting, judging, and performance by Dirtbag Dan, and then performances we got e DJ Itchy Killa on the wheels, James Barry, also known as the Bahi, K the Eye. Definitely come check out K the Eye. Everybody knows. And then some of our greatest locals, the Natives Are Restless, and of course Mosferatu, yeah. sponsored by Hardcore Tees, Lunathetic Graphics, Rap Battle Guide, TRA Productions, Xena Side Recordings, and of course Grimy Republic. Dot .org. I know that was a long segment, but we have to talk about it because okay. we're sponsoring it, and it's something that I'm very so proud of. Voice know. Box. I got mad love for. Oh yes, Mokra. That's Mokra's already the homie, and I don't even know you, but if you know who K the I is, yes, <laughs> that's what's up. Um, K the I and K the I. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they yeah. should battle. They yeah, should. It should man. be a beat battle versus a written battle. Yeah. They should just go. That'd be <laughs> no, K the K I is a battler from the east side. K the I is on Grim Image Records and Fake Four Records. He's a dope performer. He's a killer on Ableton and the launch pad. And just wait. I wish I had my live footage of him from last summer loaded up, but it's too long. Um, super dope, dope performer. So. Uh, let's play him a song because yeah, yeah, I got, get back really to music. Got, yeah. got a little long winded there. <laughs> but I'm going to play you something from James B Barry. He's playing at the show. Um, this one is called South Winds Dead and Loving It. It's produced by Zoen, a producer from France. This is from the, the EP Waiting to Die and Make Rent. Fuck living the lie, yo, I'm happy to be dead. Fuck being alive, 
baby don't cry Fuck living a lie I'm happy to done live that well Most of my dreams now I'm chilling With EP Big IG 88, 89 Welcome to LA in the 90s Laughing in the Pedro Breeze Where you find me So when I die It won't phase me Keep on playing me Blast that radio Hawaii Put a yellow sticker on the back of your car Saying bye he would flow I'm dead and I'm loving it Girl, give me another kiss And try to remember it You gotta remember this And try not to forget All the bullshit Cause I live through my music And I live through my seed So have another drink I'll have another drink To put my mind at peace Poison puts my body to sleep He has a poison, puts my body to sleep Dead monkeys, they be dead and they loving it Fayo, they be dead and they loving it Tumex, he be dead and he's loving it Grim Image, they be dead and they loving it Jesso, he's dead and he's loving it Verbal, they're dead and they're loving it Black Empty, they be dead and they're loving it Worldwide I would never quit. I would never ever quit. I, 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 I can't quit my share of a marketplace with target face connection. Can you feel infection? Hardship case section eight. And I haven't found any clean air since I started to bake the blessed shake. Groundbreaking remedy for liberating energy that seems worth the wait. Mm-hmm. Crown chakra, Dame Sinatra, sounds of opera, spiritual mantras, gods, goddesses, bank robbers, mobsters, promises, never broken, Dalai Lama, honest, open doctrine, a beat dropping, hip hopping, adopting, adapting, I get daps from the rap and rocking, the show shot, don't stop, the body rock, party pop, locking options, ingesting a variety of concoctions, action pack, clip hangers, Hodgkin's disease, dogma, Deepak Chopra, chapters, baptism, of capitalism, too many innocent blacks in prison, cracks in the system, look at coppers, barbarism, cannibalism, artisans, and garrison, embarrassing, comparison, heresy, has good permission. Block after cell block, filling boxed and obnoxious means. I can barely breathe, I need therapy. Bargaining, jargon, and charging is a margin of death consolidation. Nobody long shark and heart who goes there. It's just another monopoly. I keep going, I keep going, but I will never quit. I'm deep playing in the streets, never I will never ever quit. I'll keep going, I'll keep going, but I will never quit. No big slogans, I cheat, no one is big slogans. I'll never quit on our love. Goes with windows, my prime is split with bones. I've come this far and that close. While taking rejection, just shows. I need to let the mind go. My chin music now full grow. Especially when hunger tells you life or death ain't easy. Well, what else to do as long as questions keep on pumping? Answers out that'll prove you something. Some are sensual, some are sinister. Some will stab you, but some will sing along. Tell them give it up, better off that the quick cause they'll always be giving us bullshit. I keep going, I keep going, but I will never quit. I'm deep through the streets, I will never ever quit. I keep going, I keep going, but I will never quit. No weak souls, I cheat, no one is beats, no one my beats, no one. I will never win, but I try to get it. But it won't, won't fit. What do you want with it? If it hit or miss, slow down, damn it. What, 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 why? She damage it. Some savage shit. Watch your hemorrhage quick, but I can't, can't quit this music shit. Or being in love with this goddamn bitch. Or painting my name in this fucking ditch. It's a poison, a beverage, avoiding the severing, the weight, and the measure. And I keep on the sweating for the art I'm bearing. What I keep on staring. It's so embarrassing. My life is nearing. The rights of tyranny. There's not that many. Get that money. money. Damn. It's a tantrum fit. And this bong is lit, but, but I can't quit. <laughs> Yo, when I can't, can't stop, and I will not stop Yo, fuck the cops, yo, fuck a car I'd rather walk, tagging up the spots I name your junk, why angels mock And haters talk, the hate away rock When I take that loss and sip this sauce I hate that cross, I bet you hate your boss So what else is new from the Fayo crew? It ain't no surprise, fighting these lies I can see in their eyes till I reach the prize Can't reach my side, you're half my size So get it right, and come hella tight Damn, I'm nice, now we own the night Yo, I'm paying rent now, to the day that I die back yeah dude that was a two spot from james barry also yeah. known as nabahi the first one was called south winds dead and loving it produced by zoan the second one can't quit featuring micah nine from the mighty mighty freestyle fellowship Yo, yeah. and uh gaysol p- produced by humdrum so big ups to john q public in seattle 
Congratulations on your newborn. Adorable little cutie. So we got another quack and bush in the, in the world. That's what's up. Um,